Why Do Affairs Cause Divorce? Hello, I'm Dr. Carol Irvin. I'm gonna to talk to you about how affairs cause divorce. If you like this video, I'd love for you to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Infidelity and betrayal are present in every affair. But why do so many couples choose to separate instead of working through the issues that led to the affair? This is a great question, and it's one that's worth diving into a bit deeper. Many of the individuals I work with wonder, why do affairs cause divorce? Denial is a common theme. Not only are they in denial of their spouse's infidelity, but they're also in denial about the problems that led to the affair. Now that's not to say that they should blame themselves for their spouse's affair or behaviors. That's not what I mean at all. But they do need to recognize that the reality of the situation they're faced with is what remains. And denial can quickly result in divorce because they're not willing to face the issues within the marriage. Once denial is set aside, real work can be done to heal the marriage, if that's what the husband and wife both want. Think back to when you first learned about your spouse's affair. It is very typical for the betrayed spouse to respond first with disbelief. After that, they may have felt sad or depressed, but it often doesn't take long before anger sets in. You may have found yourself more angry than you've ever been in your entire life, and you have a right to be angry. The marriage vows that you took were violated and you're hurt because of that. However, anger can be destructive if it's not kept under control, even in the face of an affair. Anger can be a healthy emotion, but if it's left unchecked, it can do a lot of damage, and many divorces happen because the betrayed spouse cannot move past anger into a state of healing, eventually reconciling. Learning of your spouse's affair undoubtedly calls you to feel rejected, and you feel replaced, and you may have even convinced yourself that if you take your spouse back, you're settling for less than what you deserve. Your self-esteem has been dealt a difficult blow, and that can be hard to come back from. Rejection is hard, but we serve a God who's no stranger to it. In Isaiah 53, 3, it says, He was despised and rejected by man, a man of suffering and familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. You are not alone. Jesus understands your pain. As a Christian marriage coach and counselor, I can help you work through the issues that led to the affair as well as the aftermath of it. This is a very difficult time and most individuals need help from a trusted professional who can guide them. Your marriage does not have to end in a divorce as a result of your spouse's affair. If you've been wondering why do affairs cause divorce? It's likely that you're in a situation where you'd love nothing more than to reconcile. I know the pain that you're feeling, and it's very real, but I also know that God has healing in store for you, and I'd love to help you. If you can reach me by contacting me at hello at drcarolherb.com or through my website, drcarolherb.com. If you would like to subscribe below, I offer a lot of biblical advice and betrayal solutions. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.